Hi everyone, welcome back to your weekly dose of top dog tutoring with your favourite host, me, Hayden. This week we're going to be looking at a verbal reasoning strand that we call alphabet code sequences. Let's take a look. Our job in this question type is to find the next pair of letters in the sequence. And at first it can look quite daunting, but there's a really, really simple strategy to help you with all alphabet code type questions, and it works very well in this one. So the best thing to do is to isolate each letter in the pair. So by that I mean look at the first letter of each pair and think about the pattern they make and then do the same to the second letter separately. So let's do that. In this sequence, the first letters go A, B, C, D. A nice simple sequence for us to work out. So logic tells me it's going up by one letter in the alphabet each time. We've got the alphabet code at the top there to help us and obviously the next letter is going to be E. So I know my first letter now is going to be E, which means I can do something. I can use deduction and get rid of any answers that don't start with E. So A is gone, B is gone, but I'm left with C, D and E. Okay, let's do the same for the second letters. The second letter goes C to E to G to I. At first, you might not know what the pattern is. It's not as simple as A, B, C, D, E. So this is where the alphabet at the top comes in very handy. And you will have this in your test as well. So I can look at C and I can think about how it jumps to E. And I'll draw this jump in. And as you can see, it goes up by two letters. Now, this might happen again. It might not, so we should check. E to G, our next jump, ah, it's another two letters. So by writing plus two each time, I can take note of the pattern. I'm gonna check my final one just to be sure. Sometimes these patterns can be really complex. G to I. G to I on my alphabet code goes up by plus two once again. So I can safely assume that it's gonna go up by another two for our final letter. So on my alphabet, one, two, I goes up 2K. My final answer is EK, which is D, and we're ready to move on. Okay, jumping straight into question two with our new strategy. Let's look at the first letter separately and then the second letter. So P jumps to M and on my alphabet, I can count one, two, three jumps backwards because it's backwards, I'll call that minus three. M to J, one, two, three, does the same again and J to G does the same again. So with my notation, I now safely assume that G is gonna go back three more to get our first letter. G going back three, one, two, three, we get a D. Our first letter is D, which means we can get rid of, through deduction, A, C, and D. Jumping straight into our second letter, W to X on our alphabet there shows a plus one. X to Y is plus one again, and Y to Z is a plus one again. So all we have to do is plus one to Z. Ah, that's where we get our first problem. So you might notice this is the end of the alphabet. Don't worry, there's a nice simple trick. When we get to the end, it just resets back to the beginning again and vice versa. So to plus one to Z, it goes off the end, comes back around to A. The answer is going to be A. Now we're looking for that. It's B or E. Quite clearly, the answer is B and we can move on. Right, onto my third example. Very important you pay close attention because we've got a new trap here. Okay, jumping straight into the first letter, you might see A to B is a jump of plus one. If you're really confident now, you might go, oh, it's gonna be plus one all the time. Actually, it's not. B to D, looking at our alphabet, is a jump of plus two. So we've had plus one, then plus two. We must check the third one to see what this pattern is. Is it going to be plus one again? D to G, one, two, three, aha. Uh -huh. So clearly this pattern is going plus one, plus two, plus three. The next logical one is plus four. So checking on our alphabet, G plus four is one, two, three, four, K. So our first letter is K. We can get rid of B, we can get rid of C, we can get rid of E. Same thing with the second letter now, M to L. M to L is minus one. And L to J is minus two. So it looks like we've got the same sort of pattern going on. But let's check, always check. J to G, one, two, three, is minus three. The next logical solution is minus four. So G minus four is going to give us one, two, three, four, A, C. So the answer is K, C, which is A. So hopefully you're sat there now at home thinking that's not so hard to solve after all. Well, on that note, we've got another one for you to have a go at, which will be popping up on the screen shortly. Now, before I do that, make sure you subscribe for all future content and leave a comment down below when you think you've got the answer. See you soon.